I think you and Cecil put those in, didn't you? We did. Seven How long years. ago? You know, I don't know. It's been several years, but they're still there. Had a little bit of work done on them. It needs a little bit more. Needs think, a little work? I think this one needs some work, something to put under to bring it up a little bit. Kind of help you to get up to this one, because that's a big step. These right here are just wonderful. But then when you get up here, this one's falling down. It's leaning. And all it would take was somebody stand on that and down they go. The other three looks pretty good. The two of these really need to work. And I think, as we get a little older, it'd be nice to have a little handrail. We put the handrail up once and the water washed it away. So we need to figure out how to put a handrail up here that the water can't wash away. I don't know what that would be, but we can think on it. Maybe have to seat it down in um, concrete. Maybe dig oh, a that's hole. that's a good idea because these have stayed put. Maybe some uh, PVC or some steel iron or something and for the handle, you know, for the rail, but to sink a hole and pour it full of concrete. Yep. Deep that, enough to that'd probably be the only way deep enough to fight Kenny. <laughs> we all just have to fight Kenny. I, I want to show them how far it is. They can see where the camper is up there. And, and I'm going to come up level with the steps. A, and I'm going to show them the that we used to have a fish camp here that was as tall as that camper. And then I'm going to take you down to show you how low the water goes. You see where the water is down there? The water at times comes from there. Up, 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 up. And it washed away an entire four room camp. Let's walk up this way and see if we can show them a little bit where the house was at. And I'll tell you that my dad and mom and my siblings and their family built the camp that used to be up here. And then it was added to all through the years until the flood. Now look how high that is. You can see the foundation out there. I'll take you into the foundation. See the foundation of the camp? Now watch, I'm gonna take you back down this road <laughs> and let you see how far it is <laughs> down there to the creek. Isn't that hard to believe? That it came up, 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 up <laughs> enough to go out there with enough force to wash that camp away. My dad was ailing at that time and he wanted me to bring him out here as soon as the road cleared. And Roger and I drove him out, and when he got out, the only thing left was that foundation and a commode sitting in the yard. And he said, I want to go home. It broke his heart to see what he'd worked so hard on just leveled and washed away. Do you ever wonder if the Lord looks at his people that he's worked so hard on? to see them just washed away in the floods of this world. But you know, as the camp was washed away, it's still been cleared out and years and years and years down the road, Uncle Roy's legacy is still right here. Still, everything's beautiful. Still families are enjoying, just like us. There is a restoration is what you're saying. We can be restored. Isn't it good that he said, now look here. <laughs> Here's, here are Roger and Cecil over here with the camper. Like she said, look, there's, it's been restored so that they can, so that we can come. And I want to show you one more thing. My first cousin that's gone on to heaven now, after the, one of the storms, he said, I think the camp sign needs to be put back. And he came out here and made Camp Clark again. 
So here are the generations back on the land. Sometimes this is full of generations. And we see work that we need to do in order to make this place stay a wonderful place to come with families. But we can be restored just as if we'd never sinned if we asked the blood of Jesus to wash us white as snow.